So there's a new art exhibition in Melbourne right now at the Loom, which showcases Vincent van Gogh's most famous artworks, but not in the traditional sense that you might be used to. You see, the Loom is Australia's first permanent digital gallery, where they create incredible immersive and interactive experiences, which can make a visitor feel like they're jumping right into the art, like a chalk drawing in Mary Poppins. And although there's so many cool aspects of this installation for gallery goers to appreciate, there's one particular aspect that I find the most fascinating. But before we get into it, let me first offer a quick art history lesson for some context. So, back in the late 19th century, in France it became common for artists to create paintings that conveyed everyday subject matter in a true and realistic way. So whether it was a family portrait or landscape, the artists produced artwork recording exactly what they saw. And this was known as the realism movement. And then at the turn of the century, a new art movement emerged called Impressionism, which still presented everyday subject matter, but incorporated more dramatic brushstrokes and bright colours to enhance the representation of the subject. And then, from this movement stemmed post-impressionism, which used even more vivid colours and even bolder brushstrokes, but was also more focused on evoking more feeling, connecting the viewer to the subject matter on an emotional level. And Van Gogh is one of the most significant artists associated with this movement. In Van Gogh's paintings, you can see whether he's referencing landscapes or still light objects like a vase of flowers, he's painting them in a way that shares the feelings associated with that subject matter, sharing the feeling of actually being in that landscape or in the room with the object. So getting back to the Loom exhibit, what I think is so cool about the exhibit is that it's actually using these very same post-impressionist ideas and applying them to create a brand new art form. So take Van Gogh's Café Terrace at night, for example. There's this café in the south of France. Van Gogh sees the café at night and decides to paint it with the intention of expressing to the audience the feeling of actually being there. And voila! we have a legendary painting that transports us to that inviting French cafe down that charming cobblestone alleyway under a sky of stars. Ooh la la, Ooh, how romantic. And now, well over 100 years later, the Loom has created an art installation using today's technology, which appropriates this exact same painting of this exact cafe with the exact same intention. And that intention is to express to the audience the feeling of actually being there within Van Gogh's painting that expresses the feeling of being at that real cafe, which is like post-impressionism within post-impressionism. It's like post-impressionism inception. <sighs> And yes, it is a bit of a mind melter, but it's just so awesome to think that this exhibit not only honours these incredible works by Van Gogh, but also pays tribute to the artistic ideas behind the paintings themselves. It's just so cool. So, whether you're an expert art enthusiast, or you're a complete novice to art culture, this exhibit is an experience that anyone can appreciate, so I'd highly recommend you go and see it.